Holden Cruz. Nice to meet you. Girl, you done already danced with this man's son. Girl, what? This is spicy. Girl, you met this man's son at the club. I was not expecting that. Girl, you was already, you, girl, you already. The Mango Mafia, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be playing everyone's favorite Mango's first episode. I was going to try not to do no episode videos because a lot of people do them, but you know, forget that. We're here to get that bag. But anyways, right now I'm on episode and we're looking at what's hot this week. So I'm gonna pick a story and we're gonna just we're just gonna go through it together. We're gonna we're gonna see the bullshit together. If you're new here, I suggest you just stay, grab a snack, relax, and enjoy the show. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go for um i think we should choose okay so we got operation quarterback we got the roommate crush boyfriend for rent Ooh, and rule breaker i don't know they all sound juicy boyfriend for rent which means for rent i'm about to do boyfriend for rent because that one that one sounds spicy it says what's worse than receiving an invitation to your ex's wedding show up dateless god my best friend is here to save you can you resist his charm while fake dating? Um, never mind. Uh, let's try, let's try, uh, Operation Quarterback. An incident at the FBI sends you on a new mission, going undercover at college to protect the senator's son. But will your growing feelings for him threaten everything? This is spicy. I don't know. This is hard. I think we're gonna go ahead and go with Operation Quarterback. Like, I just have a gut feeling. Like, it just keeps telling me to just read this. So we're just gonna play, and we're gonna see how everything goes. Please, it be advised that this story may contain, okay. It even let me read the little warning. Which do you prefer to date? Let's do guys. Okay. Okay. Green eyes. It's not a little scary. In my 22 years, I've only ever been to one funeral, which was for my 90-year-old great-grandmother. First of all, who is this girl with this bust-down rose gold ombre wig on? It's not even moving for real. It's not even moving for real. Let's be for real. Compared to that, attending the funeral of a federal agent is different. Ooh, ooh girl, he done got shot dead. Look at the way he on the ground. Oh, baby, he gone. Maybe he gone, especially when he was your partner. Damn, they just shot him about 84 times. He died pretty though. He died kind of cute though. You don't think so? He. When you wonder if you could have saved him when you were in love with him. Oh, that's the problem. Okay, you was, I see the, I see the, I see the problem. What's your first name? What's her name gonna be? I'm feeling Ice Lemon. No, that's not a name. Eucalyptus. No, I don't know. We gonna call her. Kiara. What's your last name? Evans. Kiara Evans. Oh yeah, I would like to customize. Cause this busted wig that you got going on, it gotta go, baby. It got to go. So we're gonna do the hair. Oh, we got strawberry ice. Oh no, that's what you got on your hair? Oh no. Oh no, baby. Thank you. We're gonna let's try, let's try caramel curl. Oh, okay, we got a little black empowerment. I see it. Hold on, hold on. No. Short and medium styles, afro. Ooh, ooh, blunt bangs. Okay, I'm not feeling it. Okay, the bantu. I'm feeling the, the I'm feeling the bantu nod. Let's try the classic bob. Oh hell no, you gotta go. I'm feeling the bantu nod. Let's let's keep her. I like her. And the color light. Ooh, oh, this is not honey blonde, bitch. This is mustard. Who who chose this? Not it. Blonde girl, dirty blonde. We're gonna do the dirty blonde. Okay, she looking cute, she looking great. We're gonna do skin tone. I mean, I like her skin tone now, I guess. I mean, let's try, like, let's go for dark skin, girl. Okay, nerd. Um, ooh. Ooh, bevel, not you, girl. Ooh, girl, you giving ghosts. I mean, okay, the dark skin wasn't even bad. She, she looked really good. Her skin was beautiful. All these skin tones is beautiful, but for the hair, okay, this is not bad. We're gonna go with Kiara, she look good, she look great. Okay, we're gonna do body type. Okay, hold on. Can I get some? Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, we got the big bitch. We gonna represent for the big girls. I like this one. Mm -hmm. She gonna represent for the big girl. Uh, I kind of like her facial features, to be honest. Like, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna change anything else. This is perfect. Oh, oh, I ain't know she was gonna be this. She not that big. 
I think she look good. Okay, whatever. You doing all right? I'm hanging in there. First of all, I did not see that hair in the catalog. I like that hairstyle that she got. I just want to say one last goodbye. You can't beat yourself up about this, Kiara. You didn't do anything wrong. I was supposed to be his lookout that day. Damn, girl. And you did a terrible job. I was supposed to have his back. It's not on you that he's dead, Kiara. You can't carry that guilt. Yeah, I heard that it was all her fault it's no surprise really you know what this is the problem scarlet scarlet gonna get her tooth knocked in yeah she gonna get something from her them badges on her vest i'm gonna pin it to her upper lip so she can shut up because this don't make no sense oh i heard you heard what you heard what scarlet and then you got these two pacing motherfuckers in front of her smiling like yeah yeah really really don't even do this if she wasn't screwing around with him he wouldn't have been distracted in the field god i just want to wipe that smile off her stupid condescending face you said it too nice what you need to do is knock her noodles back ignore her she's just pissed that tom never showed any interest in her that's the problem you say the problem with most with most girls and situations like this in in jobs it's always it's always them trying to fight over a guy. They always trying to fight over this guy. Let him go. He dead. I'm going to go say something to her. This isn't the time nor the place to be making accusations like that. Oh, she went to her mad. She said, girl, I'm about to meet you. <laughs> you two, scram. Okay. You saw the way they just scurried over there? Mm-hmm. She put her foot down. Agent Woods, it's been a while. You need to stop running your mouth about a dead agent, Scarlet. The official case report mentioned that Agent Cooper was shot in the line of duty, and we all know that he had been distracted recently. Scarlet? Sleeping around with that tramp. <laughs> Did she just call me a tramp? Oh, hell no. Yeah, put your foot down. Put your foot down. She just mad because, she just mad because the man, I forgot the man's name. What's his name? She just mad that the dead agent wanted a little, a little, um, little thick, thick funnel cake. Yeah. yeah kiara take a breath think this through oh no nah. mm -mm. i'm about to take scarlet down you need to beat her up they're not doing she's not doing the job i'm gonna beat her up myself you have no idea what went on between tom and me oh his name was tom if you weren't screwing around with him he wouldn't have been distracted and he would still be here today you're the reason he's dead you slut <laughs> Oh, she bringing out the word. Calling me the name, the but the hard ass. Now tell me why I shouldn't knock you out right now. You killed him. In that split second, I felt the wall that I had been fighting so hard to keep up crumble. And all of my emotions came flowing out. You go, girl. Yo, oh, yes. Yes, because, oh, you see? You see? You see the way that she really, like, she knocking her out? You see, this is why, this is why Kiara, me and Kiara, we, we right here. We right here. You don't let nobody, you don't let nobody come to you, come to you like that. Bro, Tom is already dead, bro. You're not, you're not about to make me feel even, like, even, you know, worse. It, it was his time. Don't blame me because God said, listen, it's your time. You gotta go. You, you, you gotta, you gotta fly. It's not my fault. It ain't my fault. I know I should have stopped after the first punch, but all I could think about were her words. No, girl, you don't. You don't gotta stop, boo boo. You don't gotta stop. You already a bad bitch. You were resenting for the big girl. Mm hmm. Ooh, ooh. This the scene. Ooh. First of all, the person that killed this man. This man looks scrawny. Girl, Kiara, you could have. I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to look at you a little funny because you could have literally ran and charged at his kneecaps and he would have fell. He holding the gun like he's scared. He don't even look like a real criminal. He look like he's, he shook. He shooketh. You hear reason? He's dead. Oh my God, girl. That's why he probably dead, girl. You you doing CPR. What you need to do is is, is is cover the wound. You need to put some pressure on the wound. That's the that's the problem. You pumping the blood on him. Yeah, beat her up. Oh, she kicked her on her knee. Agent Evans, my office. Wasn't he the dead guy? Am I bugging? Is it the green eye thing? It's probably the green eye thing. Now. Now I'm in the office, but you see, we're not even in trouble for real because I was holding my ground. If they fire me, they fire me. I'm sorry, Tom. Miss Evans, from the reports of the other agents who witnessed the incident, you instigated it. Is this correct? Yes, sir. I did. Here's our issue, Miss Evans. First of all, if he, if, if I get fired, that's kind of messed up because this is a black brother right here. This is a black brother right here. And if you're taking the side of that white, that little pasty girl out there, that casserole eating whore, that's messed up. We can't allow our federal agents to play fist cuffs with each other. Some form of punishment is necessary. And please don't fire me. 
This job is everything I've ever wanted. What I did was dumb and reckless, but I can promise it won't happen again. And you aren't being fired. You're being reassigned. Reassigned? Are you at all familiar with Senator William Cruz? Of course, he's a household name. So they gonna send me away because I whooped Miss Old Girl Butt. That's not my problem. She was talking too much. Someone had to knock her teeth in. We were approached by Senator Cruz three days ago about an undercover assignment. Are you sending me undercover? Please tell me I get to go undercover with high profile game. After that stunt you pulled? Hell no. Okay, you see, you ain't gotta speak to me like that, sir. I ain't your child. The Senator has received numerous threats that involve his son. He wants us to provide him with a bodyguard service. I'm being demoted. Think of it as a suspension from your old title. If you do this well, we'll give you your old job back. You see, you had me and then you lost me. You had to kick me off the off this off this plantation cuz I fought old girl cuz she was talking about me and my dead my dead spouse. Y'all trying to stop my bag. Y'all need to stop her bag. Why does it have to be me? Can't someone else do it? His son has caught on to other bodyguards, so he needs someone he'll never suspect. You're the only one at the bureau who still passes for a college student. And if I don't want to be some kid's babysitter, and that's period because I'm sorry. This is not, this is not Jesse. I am not a nanny. You'll be out of the bureau completely for good. Oh, you know what When you put it like that, you'll say, I, I got bills to pay. My Tesla outside. You know what I'm saying? That Tesla ain't free. I have to pay for that. So that sells it. You're going undercover as a college student for a mission we're calling Operation Quarterback. Oh. Okay. Okay. So I guess now we at we at either my house or Jen's house or whatever. So let me get this straight. You kick Scarlett's ass in front of everyone and you managed to snag an undercover case. Maybe I should have been the one to teach her a lesson. And girl, you should have. You was trying to be too nice and speaking to her all softly. What you need to do, what you should have done, what you should have, what you should have done was meet her outside and brought her to your ancestors. That's exactly what you should have did. I wouldn't call it an undercover mission, Jen. It's practically just babysitting a college student. You have the job of protecting the senator's son without him knowing that's what you're doing. That's pretty much the definition of undercover. Can you stop trying to put a positive spin on this for one second? You've always wanted to go undercover, Kiara, and you've been granted this opportunity. Make the most of it. Hmm. You know, she, she, she kind of right. You know what I'm saying? Like if I, if I always wanted to do this my whole life, I might as well, you know? So you're right. It's an opportunity. I guess you're right. Thanks for making me see that. You see, and this is why Jen is my bitch. She my day one. I'm just nervous I won't pass as a college student. Um, I'm not gonna lie for the girl that I, you know, for your aesthetic that I chose for you, you kind of go for the college student. You kind of don't, you kind of give college professor. Um, so hopefully this work, I hope. Oh, please, you're only a couple years out yourself. You'll totally pass. You see, she just trying to be funny. She trying to, you trying to be funny, Jen? I'm not gonna lie, I thought you was my sister, but it's not, it seems like you trying to be funny. I have no problem doing what I did to Scarlett to you. Maybe I'll skip tonight. I could just stay in. As your best friends, there's no way Tanner and I are leaving you alone tonight. It'll be fine, I promise. Okay, we going out. Oh, we at the club. Ooh, oh, bitch. Why you told that outfit goes to the club? Girl, what is this? That was a dress? I can't change her outfit. This is giving nightgown. Girl, you were giving grandma. You're giving glamma. I'm not liking this. Look at these outfits that we are wearing to the club. Who chose this outfit? Oh, is that Casamigos in the, in the back? Hey, you guys just got here just in time. Just in time for what? We have a surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Tonight, her friends just want to give a shout out to their bestie, Kiara. This one is for you. Oh my God, it's my favorite song. We also got the bartender to make your favorite drink. Wait, my family's recipe? No one knows how to make it. I may or may not have sent Tanner a picture of the recipe from your kitchen while you were getting dressed. So what do you think? Are we best friends ever or what? First of all, why is she not looking into Tanner? Like Tanner kind of fine. Why is she fumbling the bag? What the? I gotta pay for a response? What the fuck is this? My friends really went above and beyond to help me feel better. I should. Oh, it's 14 diamonds just to say thank you? I'm gonna shrug because it's free. I'm gonna shrug because it's free because I'm sorry. I don't got no money. Oh, y'all bugging. Let's just hit the dance floor, right, guys? Works for me. Okay, we watch this hard dancing. She bumping and grinding, grinding and bumping. She grinding and bumping. 
bumping and grinding on the dance floor. I let myself go. I just wanted to dance with a stranger, forget all my troubles for the night. Yeah, you want to forget that you're a murderer. I'm joking. You're not a murderer, sis. Stresses and trial of the day melted away, and I felt more relaxed than I had in weeks. It felt good to just let loose a bit. What you should have let loose was that damn dress that you wore to the club. You got nothing else in your closet. But still, in the back of my mind, I was ashamed of my actions earlier for letting my emotions take control. I'm not ashamed, so I don't know why the, you ashamed. Do you need anything? First of all, this man with his hard ass jaw, Orbeez curly fries hair is not in my ear with that. Get him out of here. What is he wearing? I need to see this man outfit. I just want to keep dancing with you. And that's what we did till eventually it was time to go home. Okay. I wanted to see the man's outfit, but I guess. Oh, oh girl. I thought she went home with the man. I thought she went home with the man. I was about to say, girl, you crazy? Who is calling this early? Girl, you better answer that phone, boo. You better answer that phone. <laughs> answer that phone. This is Kiara. Evans, we need you to come in today to prepare for the upcoming mission. Girl, don't act like you tired now. You had all that party and you did yesterday. Oh, okay. She's on a little belly. Agent Evans, thank you for joining us. Let me introduce you to Senator William Cruz. Oh, girl, you... You better go for the Saturday. He kind of fine. Maybe the son need a little stepmama. No? Okay. Senator Cruz, this is Agent Kara Evans. It's a pleasure to meet you, Agent Evans. The senator wants to hire you as a bodyguard for his son, who, as you know, is at Seacrest College. Can know that that's who you are, though. That's very important. You must make sure his son isn't aware of you or your assignment. But you must always be close enough to him to intervene in cases he is in danger got it troll him but don't be noticed he won't even know i'm there it'll be good for me to read up on your campaign your family and your son anything that could help me understand him more how much time is there before we get started the mission begins tomorrow okay girl don't say to me girl you got you got 24 hours relax oh not the laughing it's the first day of classes tomorrow. I don't know anything about the case yet. I don't even know why he needs a bodyguard. I trust you were doing copious re research last night. Oh, girl, you was partying. You was throwing that badonkadon on Mr. Orby's curly fries. But just in case, his son needs a bodyguard because elections are coming up. A group of people who have sent death threats to the Cruz family are now targeting his son. Y'all yeah, know that TikTok where he's like, do you have eyes on the target? And he's like, yeah, I see him. And he's like, all right, the guy in the red jacket. And he goes, that's my son. Please take care of him. And he dead. That's what it's giving right now. That's what it's giving. A few of them recently showed up at Holland's first football game. The operation will be over after Holden's football game. The election will be happening during the same week. Once Holden is back out of the spotlight, you will be done. Why can't Holden know about me? It's risk holding safely too much for him to know. He'll behave differently if he knows he's being watched. He has before. We've tried bodyguards in the past and it hasn't gone well. He's in his final year of college and we just need to get through his last football season. I understand. Look, I just love my son more than anything in the world. Girl, you love your son and I love you. <laughs> You need a sugar mama? And it kills me that I've dragged him into a spotlight he's never asked for. I came to you guys because I just want what we all want for our loved ones. To know that he's safe. To know that he's safe. Those words were like a punch in my gut. Girl, the man is dead. Let it go. I knew that feeling, wanting so badly for the people you love to be safe. In that moment, looking into Senator Cruz's eyes, I decided that I wasn't going to let him down. I couldn't protect Tom but I would protect Holden. I'd like to ask Agent Evans a few questions, if that's all right. Of course, that's more than all right. You're already on thin ice. Don't screw up, Evans. Ooh, you better back up. I'm about to secure my man right now. What's up, Senator Cruz? <laughs> I desperately want to believe in you, but I must admit, I'm fearful. He's had bodyguards who haven't been able to keep up in the past and or who He's caught on to. We've had close calls. We've been burned. Why should I trust you in the agency? He looks so vulnerable standing there. I wanted to reassure him. Oh my God. Damn, I'm really about to spend money on this thing. I know how it feels to lose a loved one. Or should I pick the, the future of my career depends on it. Nah, nah, nah. We gotta use, we gotta do the first one. But I ain't got no shmoneys. So we gonna, we gonna, we gonna buy a little, um, 
we're gonna buy one i i guess all right y'all I, I bought me some some little diamonds so we're gonna put i know how it feels to lose a loved one after losing my partner on duty i vowed to myself to do whatever i could to protect people from now on i know firsthand how much it means to to know your loved ones are safe that's why i can promise you that i'll do everything i can to keep your son safe firstly my condolences my condolences to you and your partner i can tell how heartfelt your answer is because of it i appreciate it i do feel like there's something different about you like my son is in better hands with you than the bodyguards we tried in the past it's kind of you senator you know what else could be kind of you senator you making your make, making me your mistress i promise i won't let anything happen to him thank you agent evans you're welcome boo <laughs> i'll see you later how'd it go well good there's something we need to go do you never said this would be part of it. Oh, we going shopping? You just like, oh, Agent Evans, you just nothing like a college student to fit in. You need to look like a college student. Okay, we're going shopping. It's giving Sheen, Sheen Hall. Oh, bitch, what is this? Who picked this outfit? Bro. Okay, this one not bad. This one not bad. This one, this. Okay, this one cute too. This one cute. That first outfit had to go. I don't know what that was. That first outfit had to, I don't know what that was. That was so bad. This college, this college closet will be yours. Damn. Oh my gosh. I gotta pay some more money. You know what? That is so crazy. I gotta buy some more diamonds just to, just to get a little nice outfit. What? Okay, y'all, we got the college, we got the college, we got the college campus set. You know say it's giving Sheen Hall, we, we doing it. AJ Evans, I believe that you are ready for college. Remember, it's important that Holden not know. You are there. Here's your class schedule and dorm. Dorm? That's right. The brewer thought it would be best that I require a room in the campus just down the hall from the Target. Goodbye to my downtown apartment. I mean, like, think about it. Like, really, 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 really think about it. You get to experience college again for free. You just got a whole shopping spree for free. Girl, like, you winning right now, and you getting a bag. What I could see so far, college was pretty much the same as high school. You had the cheerleaders showing off their moves and tiny outfits. The exchange students who have the infinite amounts of money thanks to their family's wealth. The nerds who talk nonstop about becoming a dungeon master and spend most of their time in the computer lab. And finally, the group of people who claim that their smoking is for medical purposes. I call them crackheads, girl. You ain't have to say that. Just say, just call them crackheads. You, you ain't gotta use all the, all the special little wording. Ooh, girl, you almost got hit. Hey, you, I know you. Sorry, but you're definitely mistaken. Now, if you excuse me, I'm on a bit of a mission here. Can you tell me where Harris Hall is? Don't tell me this is the send of the sun. Don't tell me this is the <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm gonna do more than just protect him, all right? No, I swear I know you. You don't think I know who I have and I haven't met before? Jeez, I know it was dark last night, but we've danced for like an hour. That's when I spot a football under his arm, the gym bag over his shoulder, the jersey he's wearing. I'm going to Harris Hall too, but you're going to have to be a little nicer if you want me to walk with you. Are you Holden Cruz? Nice to meet you. Girl, you done already danced with this man's son. Girl, what? This is spicy. Girl, you met this man's son at the club. I was not expecting that. Girl, you was already, you, girl, you already. Explain that girl. Oh, damn. I don't know who I want. Do I want the senator or do I want his son? Girl, you're gonna get fired. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get fired. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is the first episode, and I kind of like this. Um, stay tuned for the next episode video of the next part to this story because this story is juicy and it's sweet. If you guys like, comment, subscribe, especially if you are new. And that is all. Goodbye. And she like, fuck it, it's too late for this. Huh? But it's not late for him. Shotty, stay away from me. Huh?